Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. I hope you guys are having a beautiful morning or night wherever you are. Welcome to your weekly forecast for November 1st to the 7th. I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I want to thank all of my members. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you'd like to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, or you'd like a personal reading with me, all my information is in the description box below. Guys, these are general messages, so they're not going to resonate with everyone. So please check your moon, your rising, or your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your physical, your sun sign represents your soul, your rising sign represents your physical self, and your moon sign represents your emotional side. All three of these make up who you are, okay? So feel free to cross watch. So since you guys liked how I did the weeklies, I decided to do it again this week. So if you like it, please hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below, or you can do both guys. So I know that I should continue this way. Okay, so what's going on my Scorpio's romantic love life for November 1st to the 7th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on my Scorpio's romantic love life for November 1st to the 7th? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. What's going on my Scorpio's romantic love life for November 1st to 7th? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on my Scorpio's romantic love life for November 1st to the 7th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. One more time, Scorpio. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. All right, so this is going to be for November 1st, November 2nd, November 3rd, November 4th, November 5th, November 6th, November 7th. This is going to be either the blockages, challenges, or lessons for this week. This will be What's influencing this? What's causing this this week? This is going to be for your love interest. Now, this doesn't have to be somebody that you're with, okay? It's anyone that you turn on this video for. And this is going to be your advice, and this is going to be the outcome. Now, you guys can see it's pretty extensive, and I'm gonna layer more cards on this, so stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. And you can also come back, like, after the week is over or a certain days have happened, and let me know in the comments below what's going on and how it played out in your situation. Okay, so on the first, oh my God, there's a new path in love here with the Page of Cups energy. And you're gonna have a sense on this day that you are blessed or this is a blessed connection. And I think there's a lot of strong desires here. Um, or for some of you, there's gonna be a sense of, uh, some sense of lack of flexibility there with the Snake of Card energy. But I feel like because these cards are so positive, I feel like there's more like a, like a strong attraction um, uh, a strong desire here with the snake heart energy, okay? So there's a sense of this blessed connection and the strong desire. And seven is a lot of thinking, contemplating, and analyzing about this. And it seems to be about stability and stableness with that four card energy. So, wow, you guys start off the week with like, this is very powerful. So yes, November 1st for you guys. Wait for that day, okay? All right, so it looks like the next day on November 2nd, Either you or the other person is going to speak their truth because they want to clean things up. And it's because of house and family or stability and stableness here. So there's a sense of, all right, you know what? I'm going to speak my truth. I want to clear the air here. Um, I'm interested. For some of you, there may be an interest in house and family or some kind of stability and stableness with the house card energy or something to do with being close to you because uh, the house can be somebody who wants to be close to home or close to that person. Um, yeah, so that's a very interesting uh, day as well. Okay. All right, let's keep going. So truth is coming out. All right, so a desire for house and family, being close, close to home, stability and stableness. All right, let's see what's going on on the 3rd. So the 3rd of November, it looks like there is a sense of responsibility and burdens. It does look like there is something definitely weighing heavy on you here. Okay, I feel like you just wanna take a break on this day or take a nap on this day, as the card says. And um, you're just like, all right, I'm just over. I just wanna like, 
I feel like, cause the coffin cart also can be when somebody wants to sleep <laughs> laying in bed, right? Um, cause you can literally, it can be a person laying down. It can represent a box. I mean, the Lenormand has a lot of different things because it can be taken literal. And so I feel like you guys just want a lot of rest on this day. Okay, sense of sleeping, taking a nap, taking a break of all the burden and responsibility that are weighing heavy on you here on this day. Okay, so let's keep going. So on the, the fourth, oh my God. Okay, on the fourth, there is some romantic gestures being taken here with the Knight of Cups energy. So they're taking some romantic gestures towards you and this is definitely bringing you into calmer waters here. You're just like feeling like, all right, I'm going in the right direction. This feels like it feels right, it feels calm. Uh, I do have a sense that maybe you're like looking at it, analyzing it a bit, okay? And you're kind of like, all right, okay, what's going on here? As we look, make sure that the, I'm getting all the details in the situation. But I do have a sense that you guys feel like there's something higher here and that you're finding the right direction and you're moving into calmer waters and you're seeing a light in the tunnel here. And there's this, this, all this romance happening here on this day of the fourth. Okay, so another good day there, okay? So let's see what's going on on the fifth. Oh my God. All right, so there's a sense of confusion here. All right, what do I want here? There's all these choices and all these options. What do I want here? And you're kind of just wanting to walk away here on this day. You're just like, and the card itself says time to go. You have a sense that, all right, you know, it's just time to go. I, I just, I'm, I don't want to look at all these options and choices. It looks like there's some letters and messages coming in for you. Something to do with speaking a truth through a letter, a message. So for some of you, you're going to hear some things from this person and it's going to confuse you and really think of like, all right, now what do I want here? What like you're gonna have a sense of like looking at all these choices and all these options here with the seven of cups energy and you have a sense that yeah some of these options and choices are really good but some other these are just not so good and we see that it's because of some kind of letter that's coming in some kind of documents coming in some kind of paperwork that's coming in or uh, a text message a Facebook message remember the letter card can be any written message Okay, so this is a confusing message coming in. That's gonna make you like, oh, I just wanna walk away from this, physically or mentally. All right, so, so, and that was on the fifth, so be careful on that day. So we have the sixth. It looks like there's something to do with family and long-term commitment here with the 10 of Pentacles energy. And you're having a sense that things are going by the book. You know, there's a sense of routine. There's something structured and organized on this day. And you're having the sense that, you know, I'm going in the right direction here. You know, it's, it's going in the right direction. I have a sense of where I'm going now. Okay, so let's keep going here. And then we're gonna bring it all together in a second here. All right, Knight of Swords energy. There's some fast moving energy coming towards you. Hmm. Uh, or there's a sense of some arguments and disputes here with the Knight of Swords energy, because this can be a bit of an argumentative card. Like, because when this is a harsh, it can be known as a harsher energy, like, because, um, we're talking about communication here and the Knight of Swords can be a little bit harsh in their communication. Like somebody may be like a little bit harsh in their words here, which could cause arguments and disputes or the sense of a cutting away or cutting out. There is some kind of big transformations here happening and it's to do around the subject of loyalty or friendliness or a friend is influencing things with the doll card energy. Okay, so let's bring it all together here. All right, and that was on the seventh, so you maybe want to be cautious about that day. So it looks like the days to watch out for as far as, eh. So it looks like you have three great days, or more or less, you have four great days, and then three days that kind of are interesting. Okay, so we see that there is some uh, a challenging letter or something to do with desire um, or lack of flexibility because of a letter or message. There's something to do with this house and family, stability and stableness, and really over analyzing things, but feeling like you're going in the right direction. But there's a sense that you want something to end, stop, or complete here because of loyalty, because of friendliness, or because of a friend. And we see there's a lot of thinking, contemplating, and analyzing about stability and stableness, about putting the work or effort into this, because we see eight card energy, about healing, recovery, and love, and does this really fulfill my wishes? here so let's see what the the in the uh, the challenge is this week well it looks like there is some kind of 
potential opportunity here or something that's being offered here, Ace of Pentacles energy, or there's a wonder, all right, does this have potential for some kind of long-term commitment? Does this really have value here with the Ace of Pentacles energy, right? Because we're talking about the lesson or the challenge. Can I really build something with this person, all right? And, or am I going around in circles here? Okay, with the situation. So that's what the lesson is this week. So something to do with this opportunity. And there's a lot of thinking, contemplating, and analyzing happening here um, about this potential. So what is influencing this? So the influencing of romantic love life, you're at a crossroads and you feel indecisive about things with the two of swords energy. Um, there's a sense that you want a victory or somebody wants to be right here. This is like the Six of Wands energy or this person wants to put you on a pedestal or they want your attention here with the Six of Wands energy. And for some of you, it may be because of a reconciliation or some indecision. Should I reconcile with this person or should I, I reconcile or is there luck on my side? But with a catch here with the Clover card energy. OK. And um, it's a sense of having to make a choice. So influence here going on with your romantic love life is having to make a choice because for some of you, there may have been an argument or fight, okay? And somebody wants to be right. That's like the Six of Wands energy. Or somebody wants your attention here. They, they, they want your attention. It's making you feel like, all right, I have all these decisions and choices. I have to make a choice here. And for some of you, there could be more than one choice or option here, okay? So how, what's going on with your love interest? Your love interest has a sense that they're missing an opportunity with you, Four of Cups energy. And they have a sense of being orphaned or left out in the cold here. This is like the Five of Pentacles energy. So this person's having a sense of loss because they have a sense that they're missing an opportunity with you. They want to gain some kind of knowledge here or they sense that there's something secret going on with the Book Heart energy. Um, wow, okay, all right. So we see that there's something to do with luck and feeling like trying to find a solution and so you're analyzing things, you're trying to overanalyze or this person is. Okay, what's your advice? Don't feel defensive here with the Nine of Wands energy. Okay, don't have this sense of putting your wall up here with the Nine of Wands energy. Focus on being happy here with the Happy Happy card and know that there is change here coming with the store card energy, there's a sense of change and improvement coming here. So um, I know you have this sense, I'm gonna get hurt here. You're defensive about things, but spirit is like, look, focus on being happy here. Know that there's positive change coming with the store card energy. There's improvements here, some change improvements here. And you can put the worker effort into the situation. Two plus six is seven, eight. Put the worker effort in, there you go, eight again. Nine is saying, fulfill your wishes. So let's see what the outcome is here. Oh my goodness, this person is heartache. They're having heartache here because I can tell because this is the love interest. They're missing an opportunity. They have a sense of missing opportunity and they have a sense of being left out in the cold. So this person's uh, um, aching for you with the three of swords energy. And I have a sense that you're isolating yourself in the situation to really do some deep, heavy soul searching. So there's a sense of heartache because you're, you know, taking some time alone to kind of really soul search about what you want here. And I, because I feel like you feel like this person's not being completely honest with you with the Seven of Swords energy. I feel like you feel like they're being a bit deceptive here with the Seven of Swords energy. So I feel like you're this person's feeling a lot of heartache or maybe even you feel like the reason why you wanna take this time out is maybe you feel like there's a third party going on here. Maybe you feel like there is more than one choice or option here with the Three of Swords energy and you're taking that time to really think about things and contemplate things. You feel like there's something deceptive about things with the Seven of Swords energy. There's a lot of analyzing, thinking, and contemplating going on here. And we see that with the last day of the week, it's like, a sense of, you know what, there's some arguments and disputes, there's a cutting energy, and it's about loyalty, this arguments and disputes. And coming here, there's a choice that has to be made in the sense of, for some of you, a reconciliation or somebody wants to be right. But coming back to your advice here, Scorpio, it's saying that not to be defensive, you're not gonna get hurt here. Focus on your happiness, okay? And know that there is gonna be change coming and improvements coming with the store card energy, okay? And I'll just pull another card there for the Three of Swords. It's like there's a patient energy 
when it comes to this opportunity or success with the key card energy because there is a fresh start and a new opportunity with the child card energy, okay? So there is an opportunity for a fresh start and new opportunity. I know that you're being patient here because of the sense of heartache or you're giving this, or this person is having a sense of heartache because there's a patient energy here, but they have a sense that there's an opportunity here and they do want something new or there's something new here with the child card energy or they want a fresh start and new opportunity. I know that you feel like something is, is up here I feel like the energy is like, is this too good to be true kind of energy? But coming back to the energy, focus on happiness. Know there's change and improvements here with the store card energy. All right, my beautiful Scorpios. Well, I will be releasing the monthlies because I know that, you know, you'll get a lot more information going into November with when it comes to love and career and finance and health and wellness. So I'll see you guys in another day or two. Thank you to all my members. And yes, if you like this, hit that like button or comment below. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon.